So welcome to Let's Talk Cars. Here's the new daily, the Range Rover P400e. You know how much I love the Range Rover from the last video. And I've gone from the Q5 back to the Range Rover, but it's the one up, it's got plug-in, 30 miles, but let's just run through it. So I've gone for the usual blue, Subaru blue, no only joking, Velocity blue, it's an SV palette range colour from Range Rover and it looks really nice. I was a bit worried at first but actually it's darker in the flesh than I thought when I was looking at it on the uh, pictures because I bought it just off the pictures because it's only a three year old car, it's all under warranty, 20 odd thousand miles. These were about 135, 140. Now we managed to get this for about 75, 76,000 pounds with a few extras that I wanted on here and we go through them. But I think this is so much value, a Range Rover or a Q4, because the Q4 Audi I had, the full electric, is about 75. So I think this is a lot of car, but let's keep coming round here. So differences, it's got some big 21 inch wheels. The last one had 20s. I like this in here, it can come in aluminium, but painted looks really nice. Door handles have got aluminium and painted in here. Maybe I'd have it all chrome, I don't know. But it does look really nice in here. But the thing is, I think most of the Range Rovers almost look the same, but it just looks a little bit more modern. Um, I did really like the look of the last one in the Buckingham Blue. So coming round, lights on here. Looks like they've got like a silver and red here, slightly different to the last one. Um, autobiography that's the spec i wanted and i wanted the p400e so i wanted the plug-in hybrid i think that's the best one now <clears throat> we start at the back i'm going to open the boot so let's just open it here electric tailgate now one of the key reasons for changes i need more room i need more space because my daughters are now playing golf let's press that down you can also i think lower it here lower oh it's already lowered so it's already lowered down. First thing I can see, not quite as much room because you've got all the batteries in that here. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna struggle with all the golf clubs, but we're gonna have to see if there's a bit more room. Um, might have a go at that tonight actually, just see how that goes. One of the key things was the back seats and we struggled on the last ones to sell the car because it only had four. There's a really important change on this that I wanna show you that I've gone for. So on the last one, I had the rear executive seating and the problem with it was, it was a four seater. And that gave us a few problems sometimes, maybe picking up other people's kids, taking them home, only having four seats. Or if we go down to Devon, we really want, wanted five or my wife wanted five especially. So I wanted the rear section, but obviously we wanted five seats. So I noticed on this one, they've updated it Range Rover and it's a lot better now. So if we press this button, now it's becoming like rear executive seating. So we've got this to come down. Then in here, put your cubby hole. No fridge on this one. I've got it on the front, which we'll go through, but not in this one. Then you've got a cubby hole here, lots of USBs and charger points, which is great. Little button here. And you've got all your cup holders. And there's your cup holder. So it's a really nice system now. Still retraining five seats, which is really, is that loud enough? Really, really important, you know, on the car. Um, 
and is a big plus. And I say on the last one, a lot of people rung in, probably of the 10 calls we had, eight of them wanted five seats and we didn't have that. So this is really nice. Massage seats, cooling seats, heated seats, but we do that on the review when we do the full road review. But this is the back area, so to close this down, I'm assuming I've got to take this or I might be able to just press this. No, I've got to close that first. Close this down. Press that and it's away. Controls down here, heated, heated seats, ventilation, heating, cool. See if that keeps going. Oh, stop. Hello. Oh, that's not down, that's why. There you go, it wasn't it. But yeah, lovely to sit in it, because I haven't even sat in it yet. It feels really comfy. All the controls here, relax. Yeah, loads of room, very light. I like this sort of ivory interior, which we'll go through in a minute, but really nice in here, really comfortable. So you've got your armrest there. You go up. I don't know why I like playing around with all the buttons. In it. But yeah, really comfy. So let's move over to the front. Right, let's just jump in and have a look at the spec on this. Now on the last one, let's get these seats right. Get it right, okay. Seats feel lovely actually. Right, we have got driver assist pack adaptive cruise control, steering assist, lane keep assist. I think I had that on the last one, but one extra it has got 360 surround camera. I really like that. And I haven't got it on the Q5. I've got it on my wife's Q5 and it's really nice for parking because I just park, I never park straight in the space. Blind spot assist, I find that vital on motorways and stuff and coming out, I think that's, that's a great thing to have. Ivory seats, which we go through in a minute, ivory lining. Satin body coloured accents, premium palette blue, we said SVO. Now, inside, we've got like a birch finish, which is really nice. Extra bits I didn't have before, head up display. I really like that on a car. Sliding panoramic roof, front centre with refrigerator. Now, that's the best bit on the whole car, because I'm going to fill that with Lucas Aids ice creams everything in there and you can just turn that on here there's cold and there's extra cold i think that's brilliant oh loads of usbs here what else we got <coughs> privacy glass really like that as well uh badge led lights with signature this could be really good at night but the last lights were fantastic so how good these would be i don't know hopefully could be even better 24 way heated cooled massage stone front seats with executive so the next review I need to go through them but apparently there is hot stones in these seats help my back at the golf so svo ultra metallic paint finished in gloss now when i looked at these there wasn't actually that many for sale um, and that's because you've got a shortage of new cars so i think if you're paying you know 100 and i'd say 140 for the new one with 70 miles my thinking was at 75 76 i've got 30 mile range and I've saved myself, whatever that is, 60,000. So I'm really pleased with this one. Now the other difference is you've got these dual screens. So let's just have a look at that. Let's see if there's a start button here. So like the last one. And we've got these two screens here. Now, the last infotainment on the Range Rover was appalling, to put it you know, nicely. And what I did was, is I retrofitted the CarPlay. Now the only problem with that was, for some reason the way it overlaid every time i used the heated seats i called the last person in my phone book which is a bit embarrassing especially when i called someone at five in the morning so and i couldn't get round that um, it was a bit complicated so i was really looking forward to having this new infotainment in here top screen here another screen here tell the truth it looks fantastic and i can't wait to use it fiddle around with everything like i do all the buttons um, the steering wheel looks really good as well same as it was but we've got all the dials really clearly here it'll be interesting to see how it works on a day-to-day -day basis i'm looking forward to that digital screen looks really nice and obviously this head-up display i can see there that is going to be really nice i like that with the speed limits but there'll be another video on that soon but 
I like the clearness of that. Um, I haven't got that on my Q5 and I just like to know what speed limit I'm actually in. Um, but first impressions are, this is a fantastic car. So these are the bits inside. So whoever's choosing this car, Velocity Blue, lovely color. The Birch. And then when you're choosing the leather interior, he went for I uh, ivory in here. Oh, it's heavy. There you go. Obviously he didn't go far in the books. He went to the first one, but it's really nice and it's a really lovely spec and I like how light it is. I don't like cars to be dark. Full panoramic sunroof as well, which is really nice. So yeah, that's it. We're on the journey of Range Rover again. I'm really happy. Can't wait to take it out and we'll do a full review soon. So I hope you enjoy that video. Hope you're gonna enjoy watching the full review soon. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We'd love more of you to get to watch our videos and we'll see you soon.